Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 8 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Today we're visiting Uendine Spring. Oh, Sonia asks if this is the place. It seems kind of hallowed and pretty. But the spirit of water isn't... can't... is uh, nowhere to be seen. Inside of the spring, it becomes a cave. So, let's hop into the spring. Will we be alright? We won't drown? Me lady, you make me sad. Yeah. So, it really is a cave. In the deepest part, we'll find Undine. But the slimes that live here will be trying to expel us as intruders. Okay, be careful of that, I guess. Unless you take care of everything ahead of time. Here we are already. This is Undine. She's kind of a slime, but she's also kind of a mermaid. Well, whatever. Okay, are you Undine? Would you lend me your power? Undine! Let's play together! Hmm. I see. So, Sylph and Gnome are on your side now. But the power of water can only be used by someone who is, p who is properly hard. Who has his heart in the right place. How about that? Alright, here we go. It's bashing time. This time we're going to beat you up. With the power of numbers, Undine. You can't tell, but Gnome is expressing the same sentiment here. As Undine observes, Sylph and Gnome both seem rather violent today. Well, when we contracted with them, we ganged up on them. So they are holding a bit of a grudge. Well, you don't need to hold back on her. After all, if you hold back, you're going to die. Huh. So, since we've asked for it, you need to check if we've got the power to do it and you won't be holding back. As expected, you seem peaceful, but the power of water, after all, is a kind of cold and calculating force. Alright, we're ready, let's go. Sonia won't be holding back either. Q! Q! Everybody loves Nuruko. Alright, Undine. I think I saw one of my characters die. Maybe two of them. Alright, so. Your technique's in your heart. Undine has seen and... She judges you as a hero worthy of... Capable of... Wielding the power of water. Yay! One last hit! Yeah, she's... Sylph is just getting in a bit extra. Or trying to. Blurble, blurble, blurble. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, letting aside that idiot, this means Luca wins. So, we'll have you lend the power of water to him. The power of water is a mirror that reflects the heart. In a clear mirror, like the surface of water, it will show its effects. Hmm, okay. So Undine extends her hand. Ooh. Wait right there. So she can't allow us to contract for the power of water. This is El Betier. So under orders from the Mao. 
She's here to defeat the hero Luca. But Mao has issued an order that Lucas be Lucas to be defeated. Uh, vanquished, perhaps, is a good word. So, you're still obeying Alice's mother, then. What the hell are you thinking, obeying a Mao like that? Well, she's one of the Shiten no, an underling of the Mao. You simply have to obey your orders. If our enemy is a Shiten no, well, there's nothing to do but fight then. Undine says that she will help Luca as well. Although against Elvetia, she doesn't know how much use she will be. She does have some interesting abilities, but I'm going to stick with my Berserk party. Undine. Although one of my brethren, and also a sheer friend, and also a dear friend, even you are taking Luca's side. Well, it doesn't matter who will be my enemy. I will simply fulfill my mission. Well, even if our opponent is one of the Shiten no, we can't let ourselves be defeated that simply. Choo choo! Hmm, well. She's unexpectedly burned her hands on this uh, enemy. You are well out above expectations in your strength. But no. Regarding your amount of power, normally she should be able to defeat us easily. If you can't, it means you aren't outputting your full power. That is not true, I am... Well, Lucas says that from her heart, he can feel her hesitation in it. Even though you are a monster of water, you don't have that clear mirror like a surface of water thing going on. Her heart is disordered. Well, although Luca has only just now touched the power of water, he understands that much. Well, hero Luca, you are certainly one who is going to grow to become a threat to the Mao. But Elbeti is going to retreat for today. Even she realizes that the countless wills within her are not aligned with this. Countless wills within her, huh? Is she some kind of hive mind? Tamamo and Alma Elma have both parted ways with Alice's mother. So the remainder are only yourself and Gran Velia. You two are not really uh, fulfilled with her mother's actions, are you? If you continue going this way, you really ought to think about it more. Well, Alice says all the right things, but Elbeti is running away from that particular line of questioning. So, we managed to overcome that. Well, the disorder in El Betty's heart, Luca was able to properly catch on to. So, Undine's choice to select him was clearly not mistaken. So, extending a hand. Now, accept the power of water. And in Luca's body, 
flows power, almost like a great river is overflowing within him. And now he can summon Undine too. Well then, your task here is done then. It's all right, Undine. So Sylph and Gnome also get into fights, but they get make up right away. Imadina gets what she's trying to say there. So, thanks, Sylph. And after all, she does have to meet up with Elbetie again. That's true. She said that they were close friends. So, Luca. Undine too will join you on your journey. So, let's get along and fight together as allies. With this, our contract with Undine is complete. And so, that counter operation in Grand Noah should be complete by now. Let's return to Grand Noah, Luca. We're going to need to help in Grand Noah's plan. And her mother's will, we can't fathom right now. Why has she got this war going on? Hmm. Yeah, let's get back to Grand Noah. Repeating once again all the things we said in the conversation. Grand Noah. I've been doing a lot of short episodes, so I'm going to get a few more pieces in today. I see you've returned, Hero Luca. What were you able to grasp in Esther's investigation? Alright, what happened was, and we talk about all the angels and things. I'm glad we didn't have to read a literal, re li re literal recap of that. Hmm, so the angels are behind it. Understood. We're grateful for your a very important report. And so then, the counter-operation against Grand Gold has also been prepared. As we said before, you guys are going to be help helping out with it. So with regards to the content of the operation... Well, in connection to the details, Mephisto will explain. It's going to be a bit of a long story, so let's change rooms. Sonia keeps complaining about how rude she is. I don't know what it is with Sonia and Mephisto. Hmm, anyway. This operation is a, is a ambitious one, aiming to end the war. The allied armies of the three countries are going to be moving as a force. So, in this force we are included as well, right? Yes. Actually, you guys are going to be the linchpin of the whole operation. So, listen very carefully. We are the linchpin? Of course, we're the heroes. We have to be the most important characters. <clears throat> anyway. Our country, as well as Sanilia and Savasa's combined armies, are going to make a move. It's a large-scale tactical operation, and the, the enemy is certainly going to notice. So on the front line, there's Gold Fort where the enemy's main force is going to come out from or rather that we we're going to lure them out from in other words 
the three armies, the three countries allied force is going to be a feint. That's a pretty expensive decoy you're putting out for us. Yes, well, it's very important to get the enemy's eyes upon us. No matter how you look at it, they want to force an end to the war as well. So, in that opening, we get to infiltrate Gold Fort. Once we get through the fort, we're in enemy territory. Wait, you're sending us on a solitary mission in enemy territory? Isn't that excessive? Well, naturally, we'll be supporting you with all our might. Even in enemy territory, we've managed to work our opera. We've managed to work a number of operatives in. Yes, as Her Majesty says, we have no plans on using it as a sacrificial pawn here. So after you've gotten through Gold Fort, you should continue on to the capital, Grand Gold. And on the way there, you'll be meeting with some difficult situations. Anyway, immediately after getting through the forge, you need to continue to the close-by village, Godal. Once you've arrived in Goldal, we've got an operative hidden away that we need you to make contact with. He's going to be in the bar, and the master of the bar, barmaster, has a particular plan for, has a particular set of instructions for letting you meet. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I take notes? Who would take notes on a, such a highly confidential top secret mission? Huh. Well, the details Alice will remember, so enough with the paper. So Mephisto explains a bunch of little details, how to meet with the operative, and how we should be approaching the capital. So after we've arrived at Grand Gold, what should we do? Probably, Grand Gold, the King of Grand Gold, has been seduced some by, we, somehow we think. So we'd like you to defeat the Queen Ant. Hmm, that's right. It's been said before that ant soldiers comprise a significant part of the Grand Gold army. Ah, anyway. Your mission is actually extremely close to being an assassination. Under normal, in a normal war, we wouldn't consider it, but this is something we'll have to consider. Naturally. This kind of war, in modern warfare, the assassination of enemy leaders is the lowest of underhanded dealings. It has a tendency to motivate the troops and drag the war down to an extremely low level. But this particular war is not a normal war. Because the Mao is pulling the strings behind all it, it's a special circumstance. If we can cut those strings, then the operation is a success. But if the oper whether the operation fail succeeds or fails is up to your is up to your actions behind enemy lines. Oh wow. That's incredible pressure. If we were to lose then Grand No would be in a big pinch. Well, in the case that the operation fails, we're going to disclaim you as operatives of our kingdom. You are simply travelers who did what you 
who enacted your terrorist act on your own initiative. So, do not be worried about us. <laughs> uh. But, even if that does case, it'll be a dr long drawn out war of attrition between the two great armies here. So, we want this war to end. We don't know how long the war will take to end and how many lives will be lost. In fact, Queen Grand Noah doesn't even want to consider it. So, taking our existence here as the big opportunity. Yet if we fail, it's back to our regular war, huh? Well, Alice is also a ruler, and she does understand the governmental judgment behind it. But we're going to have you support us properly in enemy territory. If you do cut us off too early, we'll, our lives will be in danger after all. Well, yes, of course. We will be supplying manpower as well as material power. So, first of all, there's the infiltration of Gold Fort. Since it's the first step on in the operation, uh, for this first step in the operation, we have prepared a helper. So, go to the ruins of Lima Village. There you'll meet up with the helper. From Essa, you need, just need to go northwest. You'll see Lima Village. Lima Village, wasn't that several years ago, destroyed by the Gold Army? The villagers were, in large part, massacred, is the story that Sonia heard. Yes. The sight of that village, you should burn into your eyes. The Gold Army, manipulated by the Mao, is willing to go that far. So, before that tragedy is reenacted, we need to stop Grand Gold. So, everything is riding on us. Please do not forget that. Understand, leave it to us. We understand, leave it to us. So that's the end of the explanation. First thing we need to do is go northwest from Esta to Lima. By the way, this helper, who is it? I hope you haven't prepared someone who is inept enough to be holding us back. That would be troublesome. There's nothing to be worried about. It is quite a outstanding person whom you will not be disappointed in. Well, when you meet her, you will understand. The way you say it, could it be somebody we already know? Hmm, yes, probably. Her and her enigmatic answers. Anyway, we understand. Very well, let's go. Okay, last two lines are as usual. A review of what we're doing and what's riding on us. So, first off... Essa. Northwesterly. Okay, that one on looks like a fort, so this must be Lima Village. So, this is Lima Village destroyed by the Grand Gold Army. This is horrible. Yes, it's been destroyed all the way down to its foundations. This isn't the work of a battle. This 
was a straight up raising of the city. So let's meet up with this helper or whatever. She must be somewhere in the village. It's a little hard to see on these skeletons, but some of them have a little glimmer on them that you can speak to for a little backstory on Lima. Like this one. There are a bunch of corpses piled up like a mountain, it says. Honestly, Sonia wasn't really wasn't really um, encouraged, enthusiastic about engaging, about uh, participating in this war. But to see this, she does realize that it's the right thing to do. This is unforgivable. So, in order to stop this, we've got to do something. Yeah, we can't let this play out again. Oh. I was supposed to find a helper and instead I found Alma Elma. She says we're late. You're Alma Elma! Don't tell us that the helper is supposed to be. At times, I'm a mysterious student. At times, I'm the queen of the Colosseum. But my true identity is currently just an out of work succubus. Ah, oh, ha, ha. These girls are just over the top ridiculous sometimes. So, you've given up your job as one of the Shiten, no? And now you're helping our Grand Noah. The wind sure blows in funny ways. Well, it's troublesome to her if she's manipulated so far as that deba debacle at the Colosseum. And furthermore, she doesn't like how the way that the Mao army is doing things. That's right. Alice hasn't been able to do <laughs> to a Alice hasn't been able to determine what the Mao army has been doing since she got cut out of the loop. What exactly is her mother planning? Well, even Alma Elma doesn't know exactly what she's up to. It's just that she all of a sudden re reappeared and took the reins of the Mao army. And the missions that she assigned were, you know, all covert arms, dark, dark ops, stuff like that. The corruption of royals and assassination of others. So, since that bothered her, Alma Amar quit the Mao army. And when she did, she was chased out as a traitor. So, to think even the Shiten No, such as yourself, don't know that much. Ah, oh, what the hell is she planning? In any case, and now we have met up safely. Now, the operation begins. So, all my Oma lets loose a bat. And the bat flies towards Grand Noah. This will convey to them that to the three army, three country armies, three countries army, that we're ready to begin the operation. Coming out of Gold Fort, the enemy army will meet ours off in battle, but that'll take a little while. In that interval, there's someone that Alma Elma would like to visit. And maybe, she too will participate in the operation. Someone you want to visit. Is it someone that even you would be able to ask for favors from? Mm, that's... Let me say that better. Is it someone eminent enough that even you would gain something by asking them a favor? 
After all, all my ammo is pretty powerful. Well, you can look forward to the meeting then. Let's go. So, no more conversation. She warps us there. What do you want? You know what's going on, don't you, Tamamo? We're going to be infiltrating Grand Gold. Tamamo? Don't tell me you're trying to pull her in. Tamamo, won't you help us out? Grand Gold... Mm. Is certainly being manipulated from the king down. Those people are acting under a proper logic. Tamamo says that she can't interfere. Well, they are acting under a, a certain truth, whatever that means. Well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Come on, can't we convince you some way? Somehow? Tamamo says that she isn't getting any ball involved anymore. That is all. Now hurry up and leave. So, do you think that what the current Mao is doing is right? Do you really believe that? In that case, is there any other way? If there is, then tell me. Ah, Tamamo. Tamamo, Tamamo. It's so disheartening to see her in a mood like this. Well. There are times when you need to be honest with your sentimentality. Especially at times when you can't come to a clear answer. I'm not so young as to and as to solve things like that. I've lived too long. This conversation is over. Do not come to me with your problems. I won't help you. Hmm. We're going to win her over. I know we're going to win her over. <sighs> but that'll be all for now, Luca. Let's go. The operation is about to start. Hmm, all right. If you don't move now, for the rest of your life, you're going to sit there regretting it. If the earth even lasts that long. You're considering it, aren't you? I know it. All right. At that time, in the vicinity of Esta. All right. All columns, advance. Beat all of the ground gold soldiers into the sea. Everyone advance. This is for all of our countries. And for Her Majesty, etc. Well, well. And so, the two armies are going to be fighting in the vicinity of Esta, and the Gold Fort is going to be under a skeleton crew. So, everything's going as planned so far. Goldford is immediately to the west. So, let's go there. While the general army is out in force, it's not exactly like it's going to be unoccupied. We'd better be careful. 
So then, let's start the show. <laughs> let's do it grandly and have fun. No, as much as I'd like her in my party. I like all the characters I already have in my party. So, there's a battle in the vicinity of Asta, is there? But, we can't see it. Must be invisible. In any case, next time we overcome Grand Gold Fort and get to... Oh, what did they say? Godal is the name of the town beyond it. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.